Hello, 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 what do we have here? As you can see, I created a little platform <laughs> over the creeper farm, so I'm around 148 blocks in the air. And today I want to tackle this project right there. And as you probably, some of you seen, I spawn proofed most of the area around this farm, so I can finally have a breather here. <laughs> I don't need to be scared of stray creepers and most of the creepers are coming here. I mean I can show it to you. I'm here, you can see the beds and there fell one creeper, two creepers, three creepers. The rates aren't the best but if I could put it FK for a little bit, then yeah, I would have enough gunpowder to just destroy a whole desert. At the very least, I have no more problems for the rockets. As you can see, this is just from 5 minutes, not even. So, we want to finish that hole there. I mean, it's already time for it. But I was thinking, it is a little bit small, so I'm not sure if I shouldn't make it a bit higher. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm gonna start building and after that I'm gonna see. Uh, this episode is gonna be more about the building and less about, you know, the technical progress. So yeah, let's get you right into it. As you can see, I finally <laughs> did the thing. I don't know how it looks like from the distance. Let's go here. Hmm, it's not bad. I'm quite happy with that. I put some torches and I made a bit of, you know, detailing here. Well, details. Just some slabs, I expanded it. And I can only hope it will look even better with the chains. So right now I'm gonna go onto the towers and I want to make it. It's just grindy work. Guys, girls, I'm thinking about a lot of things and one of them is the design here. I mean, this tower could be interesting compared to this one. Still, I'm not too sure about the color palette. I'm gonna make some of them, but I think I need to, you know, add something to the ground a bit too. So, wait a bit. Let's just take a bit here and then a bit here. You know, just to get the general feel of it. And after that, I do think I want to use, uh, you know, these kind of blocks. These, 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 and these. Let's see, a few of those. Okay, for example, like this. Then some of them are gonna be those little ones. Mm. No, the bricks I don't like here. I was thinking a lot about the bricks, but no. Okay, these I like. Mm, no, this one goes away. I have another rack and... Yep, this should be probably the last block I'm gonna add. Will it make it better? I mean, I just gonna need to go here and check it out a bit. Yeah, the pillar is looking a bit fiery. Is it better? Probably a little bit. But those I need to like this. A bit of irregularity. Here, here. You I'm gonna need here. Then you and you are gonna be switched. Yep. It feels better. And these blocks, I don't think I can make them there. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, I can make it like this. Do I make it like these? No, I can make it. Okay, then these, these, this, and this. Oh, I could have made, yeah, I make it like this. Yep. Yes, now I can make this one go here. And this one can be um, this. I'm gonna like. I'm quite happy currently. And those are gonna be, yeah, the bricks. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking really good. Um, the two of you go here. I mean, uh, yeah, a bit later I can add some soul lamps and so on. Yeah, I mean, 
it's looking fine currently. Not the best, not the worst. So, yeah. Well, then I'm gonna check out the top part. I'm gonna try to, you know, make it uh, look good, move it, and so on. After that, I'm gonna, you know, make the bottom layer a bit. And yeah, I've got an idea. I can make a circle around each of the tower. So it can uh, be, you know, in the same way as this here. So all of them are gonna be uh, circles. It's gonna be uh, adding a bit of geometry inside of it. So I think it should be an interesting idea. Yep, okay, so let's get back to work, shall we? Guys, girls, I did some things. <laughs> as you can see, the circles, uh, yeah, it's that right. I've gone and made it with a circle generator and I wanted to make it contrasting and similar to this one here inside. So yeah, that's why I made a circle and the inner side is gonna be with the netherrack, nylium and the ward blocks and the magma blocks and whatever. And same I'm gonna do on all the other three ones. As you can see, I made it similar to the terrain because uh, the thing is, I want the four of the towers to be connected with the chains, as I said, but I don't want to make it everything flat. I want to make it a little bit 3D and it's raining again. Well, yeah, you get the gist. And welcome again. As you can see in my hotbar, I've got some TNT and some flint and steel because I need to mine me some deep slates. So yeah, I am too lazy to do it the old fashioned way with the pickaxe because as you can see it's really quite slow. So I'm gonna make me a little tunnel and after that I'm just gonna go and <laughs> blow it all up. I mean, I do think that with a TNT minecart the explosion would be even bigger, but whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Go away. I don't really need currently more slime, so yeah. But I won't throw it away, of course. Let's see. So people, just know if you <laughs> if you really want to uh, dig a bit and get some resources, the fastest way is always gonna be with TNT. Just place it down, fire onto one if you have flaming bow, if not, just use a bit of flint and steel and you're gonna be done and dusted. And the resources are just gonna be, you know, falling from the sky. Oh, this is more than enough. As for the reason I wanted to have the deep slate, it's quite a silly one, because I want to use it in the build on the top part. So yeah, this is the reason. Because for the top part I want to use deep slate as you've seen, but I will probably mix it up a little teeny bit. Theoretically this should be the bottom side and this should be the top side, because I want to make it from, you know, darker to lighter. Which I'm probably gonna do or not. I'm still thinking about that. As you can see, I'm placing a block and then some stairs around. I created a platform of 5x5 five five and a bit onto the rims I used uh, some slabs. And this should connect to the, the big chain, which I'm gonna create uh, one here and the other one, which is gonna be connected to it in a 90 degrees angle. And as you noticed, probably in this part of clip, yeah, I got a sore throat, so I'm a little bit sick. Well then, let's go back to building, shall we? Actually, I would want to make a time lapse of most of the builds I make, but the problem is I'm just using the Java version of Minecraft and I'm not using it uh, through the curse launcher, so I'm not playing modded and I want to play it like this because I just like it a little bit more. But yeah, this would be a lot better uh, made through the time lapse. I know. And it's not actually factually 100% true I'm not using any mods because one mod that I'm using is Optifine, but this is something like, uh, you know, performance mod. So yeah, that's more or less it about the software. And this is 
mostly what it's looking like when I'm freestyling a build because I'm not really a guy who likes to plan his builds beforehand, I'm more of a guy who wants to do things on the fly. So if I had to compare myself to somebody it would be more someone like Iskal85. Yeah, expect that I'm not such a good redstoner. I mean, I'm not even sure how the redstone contraptions normally work. And why did I mention to the goat, the one and only Iskal85? Well, <laughs> because I like his World Hunter series and yeah, I like to play that from time to time when a big new update comes out sometimes. And as we know, the biggest one comes in a few months, should be in summer somewhere. At the very least, that's what was said in the streams and so on. I mean, I'm not 100% certain, so yeah, this is all on their side of things. Oh, but normally I don't do the video like this where I'm just talking what I want. So yeah, I thought, why not make it like this? When the audio is already like this and as you've seen here I want to smooth out the edges a little bit so I'm using the stairs and for me one of the funny thing is I do call myself a gamer but it is true that I'm not playing too many of such titles I mean I do like to play Minecraft on and off and the same is with League of Legends but <laughs> One is a relaxing game and the second one is a rage inducing piss fest, literally. As for the other titles, I did play a bit of Dark Souls 3 but never finished it, so it would be interesting to play for me at the least uh, Elder Ring, which I never played before, and uh, this year I did finish Pal World, which when came by as a storm and was one of the reasons why I even uh, wanted to start recording uh, videos about games and such. As for the anime side of things, I do like me my anime as I started to watch anime like when I was a kid. It was when I was 13 or 14 years old and it just gone on TV. And after that, well, more than a decade later, I just got the urge to create anime related content because if I watched already over 900 titles, I mean, I think I can call myself as someone who knows his fair share of, you know, the medium. And the sad part was that I never had somebody to talk about it because whenever I tried to talk about it with my brother or friends, well, nobody was really exact interested into it. But don't get me wrong, my relationship with my brother or friends are all fine. So yeah, it was just a difference in hobbies. Okay, back to the game I guess. Well, as you can see, it's looking all really nice and I just want to switch this one block for a shroom light for a light source. So it should be all pretty safe here. And now you see me how I, you know, designed this chain up there. I am, oh, I am really quite happy with the design and how it all looks like, so yeah. Let's see how the trapdoors are gonna look like. Ooh, nice. And I can change this one, the middle one, for a shroom light. Yes, okay, I can make it like this. As you probably noticed in the previous recording, I tried to, or I tried to put some details here. So yeah, that's why I'm using here some of the trap doors. And up there you can see the shroom lights with the slabs, same here, down. Okay, with this, I'm more or less happy about the only thing which is needed to complete uh, this side of the build is gonna be create the chain uh, to the other side, which I'm gonna create a bit later. Because firstly I want to build all of the remaining towers, uh, which I'm not gonna show to you, but yeah. Because I want the videos to have a length of 20 minutes, and that's why I'll show you just how it's finished. <laughs> I'm having problems with my throat a bit because I'm a bit sick. 
and the weather. It's probably a cold or just a sore throat, but I'm having problems and it's a bit raspy. So yeah, I'm gonna create this onto the other three parts and after that I'm gonna cut it and here you're gonna see the result. Hello! We see us after a little while. I finally, and I mean finally, finished the pillars and I still need to make the chains so it can look at the very least a little bit presentable and yeah, you see a sneak peek. So let's go there. Slowly but surely, I'm gonna show it to you. I mean, it's not really the worst thing and I hope it looks presentable. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 Looks good, no? <laughs> I switched the, the water for lava and it feels a lot better right now. <gasps> yeah, I didn't finish the trapdoors. Oh man. Okay, never mind. Still not totally finished, as you can see. I, Yeah, here, trapdoors. Uh, let's go back, let's go back. Yep, perfect. As you seen, here I have the right. I used slabs in the end because I <laughs> I had not enough of them. I'm more or less happy with the design. I had problems with the big chains there because <laughs> here and there and even here. <laughs> yep. I rotated them wrongly, so yes, I had to <laughs> rebuild them like three times because I'm um, pee pee poo poo and I could not rotate them the right way right from the beginning. And yeah, here as you can see with the terrain changes, I try to make it always uh, accessible. So when I go, whenever I go with foot, you know, on the white, I can just run up, run down, and so on. Same with here. And here. I really am happy how it came out. I mean, I had here water till like uh, one hour ago, and then I just thought, yeah, I should switch it. I mean, if we go here, ooh, it looks fire. I really am happy with the towers. And then the only thing which is needed is connect this here to here. Same with this there, that there, and that here. It's all calculated. It's all in positions. So, at the very least, I have that. I'm still not sure what to do here at this circle, the outer layer, as for the villager trading hall, which, uh, hall, in quotations. <laughs> I mean, really, it's truly only in quotations. I still need to dig out the whole uh, basement area for them, which I'm gonna do sooner or later. Uh, but for that, I'm gonna move the beacon here because it's really annoying to do it manually. So that was more or less it from what I've done and I'm gonna see you a bit later when I'm gonna start to make the chains. I still have no idea uh, what design I'm gonna do for the chains or the colors and truth be told I want to say that it should be it for this episode and I want to say you all thanks and bye but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna finish the chains and then I can finally say bye so yeah and here you can see me how i tried to create the chains as you've seen it included a lot of falling and a lot of jumping it was quite annoying if i say so for myself i mean just for one uh, whole chain segment i needed around half an hour more or less and this pre uh, the you know changes because you're gonna see the changes a bit later which I done to the chain and the shape for the chain at the release the first one was five by five five for the height and five for the width 
As you can see, peeps, I created such a chain. I'm quite happy with it currently. And I'm gonna make the rest of the chains right now. I just used, you know, the three types of walls of blackstone wall, polished blackstone wall and polished brick, uh, blackstone brick wall. As you can see, even the dirt from the <laughs> scaffolding is still, you know, flying away. Still, I'm not too sure if this is gonna be fine, but well, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna see the end result only when I do all the chains, but this is gonna be the craziest build I completed. I mean, yeah, it's looking fine. Still, I'm not sure what to do with this. I mean the stone wall. And I've got a plan for the whole iron farm. I'm gonna close it up, but it's still only a plan currently. I'm gonna finish it, but this will be in the next few episodes. And I'm thinking about making a bit less Minecraft videos. I mean, not too less, but just, you know, it's not gonna be out every three days, but like every four or sometime the fifth day, because I just need to show the progress I made. I mean, it does depend on the context too, because some episodes need a lot more time to prepare than the others. And I'm still recording the 100 days in hardcore in the background, so yeah, I still did not forget about that promise. I still need to cover this area, but this is time. I will make a dedicated episode to, you know, the cleanup of the whole area. I want to make some roads and so on, infrastructure then you know terraforming and so on and so forth guys girls we are finally finished at the very least with the top part <laughs> yeah at the very least the top side of the build is more or less finished i mean it's not totally clean i mean this chain could be more to that side and so on like with this one still it ain't it too bad as for here, as you can see, the gunpowder is coming along nicely. I just needed to FK up there for one hour, so I'm not even sure how long I was. <laughs> it's all done. I redid the chains a bit. I chipped away the edges, so it's a 5x5, five five, but you know. So the design is really simple. This is literally the whole chain. <laughs> uh, yep. I really am finally glad I completed this build because it waited on my mind for a few... <laughs> literally for at the very least half a month, if not even more. Yeah, it's looking fabulous. Just like I imagined and even maybe a little bit better. I mean, with this, maybe some details, but overall, I'm quite happy with it. This is a bit too squared. I'm gonna make, you know, a bit more ridges and so on a bit later. This should be it for this episode. It was really quite an undertaking for me to create this build. And as I mentioned, in the next episode, I'm gonna create the, you know, bottom part. So somewhere here is gonna be an entrance or maybe even inside it could be here an entrance down there i mean i can make the entrance on all four sides yes i can do it like this okay <laughs> that's literally my thought process here with uh, the building here it's everything freestyled yeah, and this is gonna be the entrance, and here is gonna be an elevator. Who? How do I plan this elevator? But uh, this can be for a bit later, or maybe I can make some stairs downside. Still not sure how I do it, but before that I'm just gonna try to make the entrance, and we're gonna see it a bit later. I've got some creative juices incoming, so yeah, it's gonna be quite fun. Overall, I thank you all for watching, press like and subscribe, stay healthy and we're gonna see us in the next episode. Bye bye! This is gonna be thumbnail ready.